Hello everybody, this is Jacob Nolly from the Graphite Lab and today I'm going to go through a, a recommended workflow that you could use when, when managing your invoicing inside of Service Titan. So when you're inside of Service Titan, the batching and exporting process can feel very complicated and overwhelming. Um, that's why it often helps to have a strategy going into it. Um, one very common strategy is to have a date that you've started a batch, is to basically name your batches and organize your batches by what should go in them. Um, oftentimes people, when they're doing these batches, will group them by transaction type, business unit, um, date, etc. Um, so one thing that you could do is, let's say you are on a weekly batching and posting process. Um, what you can do is every single week you can come in here and create a new batch and basically you would name the batch the first day of the week that, that we're actually doing the batching. Um, or let's say, um, yeah, we'll make it the day of the week that you actually are going to post your batches. So like, let's say it's this um, June 6th, no, June 23rd, 2023. So it's the Friday um, of the batch. And then basically what you're going to do um, is what you're going to have your team throughout the week add their batches here, um, add, add their invoices. So as the team's reviewing their invoices, they go through each and every day and, and they'll take a look at their invoice to go, okay, everything's good. Um, I'm happy with it. Add it to a batch. When you select the day of the week that that's going to go out, that'll be the next batch that goes. Click save and it will go ahead and add that to the batch. So now let's say it gets to Friday and it's time to do the export. What you can do is go ahead and come over here and make sh click into the batch and go to batched and review all of the transactions that are in here. Just make just do one last pass, make sure everything's good before you go ahead and post the selected batch. Basically what happens when you post the batch is it takes this batch out of circulation and prevents anyone from adding anything additional to it. Um, in addition, what it does is it basically allows it to then be exported or bypass an export if it's not something you're going to export to your accounting system. So what you can do here is post the selected batch. Yes. And basically what this will do is it'll move all the all the transactions inside of the batch to a posted status and it will lock everything down. So none of these can be edited any further. Um, and then all you have to do to export it is just op go into that batch and click export to QuickBooks or whatever your accounting system is. And there you go. Um, it's a pretty straightforward process. And really by naming those batches and, and assigning roles, it, it allows you to very easily check what you're expecting and making sure that people are doing what they're supposed to be doing and that there's a really good process for checking where transactions should go and when.